Alright, fish number two. Oh, hit real I just caught. Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All right, today we're starting with the smallest rod I got, which is this ultralight right here. And then we're gonna finish off today with the biggest rod I got, which are these two battle cats here. We're gonna start on the docks here, drop down some worms I just got from the bait shop, and then catch some bluegill, try to fill up the live well with bluegill. And then we're gonna head out and do some catfishing, which is something I've never done before. So that's what we're doing today. Break off a little piece of worm, Put this guy on this tiny little hook. And if we don't catch any catfish with him, I did try eating bluegill for the first time the other day and it was amazing. So I wouldn't mind actually doing the catch and cook with bluegill. So if we have any left over, that is what we will do. All right, first piece of worm going down. Let's see if there's bluegill here. Let's try a different spot. Let's try more shallower. Dude, you can't even catch bluegill right now. What's going on? What do we thought they'd be just popping off right here? All right, surprisingly, there's no bluegill here at the dock. So I remember last year I went out to a cove back over here and I found a ton of them. So I'm gonna go try that spot. It's pretty windy today. It wasn't supposed to be this windy. So that kind of sucks. Hopefully it's not too bad across the lake where I plan to go. If we can't catch any bluegill, we can't catch any catfish. All right, I was trolling and we got one. A crappie? <laughs> we caught a crappie on a fish lab wobbler. I definitely wasn't expecting a crappie to take this wobbler, but I guess they will if they're big enough. Yeah, buddy. And we're gonna be keeping this guy. Gonna do a catch and cook with him. Thank you, dude. Yeah, I was just trolling. All my normal spots are not hitting at all. Like, uh, I came out here super early, way earlier than I usually do. And I hit up all my spots and completely nothing. Not even fish on the fish finder. So I don't know if it's just today. We did have a crap ton of wind last night. That may have uh, changed things around here, but uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just weird. So I threw on a wobbler and I'm just trolling it. Just got the first fish. Let's keep going. I'm not a big fan of trolling at all. It's just not really that fun to me. But if it catches them, we'll do it. Nothing else is catching them right now. So everything's a little different today, which I guess is why we're trolling. This ain't even my trolling rod. I just threw a wobbler on this, my crankbait rod. So this is strong enough to do it. This will work. All right, fish number two. Oh, let's realize it's caught. What do we got? Looks like a sand bass. Sand bass, baby. We got lucky because the, the hook in its mouth came out, but the hook in the back end still got it. I'm assuming that's what happened. We need to make sure we're not gonna crash here. All right, so I'm assuming that's what happened. It looks like, uh, I mean, it looks like I snagged it, but if the top hook came out, it would be right there. So I'm gonna assume we didn't snag that and the top hook came out and we got extremely lucky that the back hook did catch. All right, first a crappie on the wobbler and now a sand bass. I was expecting to catch walleye on that bad boy, but we're getting other fish instead, but I'll take it. This guy looks like a caper. We will definitely measure him first and make sure. Oh yeah, 12 and a quarter. Mm. Two inches over, we are good to keep him. In the live will you go, bud. Why is it so windy? It kind of changed directions too. It was going this way, now it's going this way. That might, that wind might get super strong. I'm glad I'm not way out there. I thought about going way out there today, but 
it was way windier than it was supposed to be, so I stayed over here. Let's uh, let's get back to trolling though. So the wind is now pushing against this bank that I'm trolling, so that is good for me. That will push all the bait fish and then all the bigger fish to this side where I'm trolling, and I might just catch more fish. I could have two poles out. I mean, I have the trolling rack back here. I have one on each side, but I don't know, man. Every time I troll two rods, it gets messy. That was 17 seconds, so I don't know how far back I really am. I do have like three rods on the boat that have death counters on there for trolling. Whoa, big old carp just jumped. That was huge. But uh, I'm just using this one today. This started out with me not catching any fish and just driving the boat, graphing the lake, looking for fish. And I was like, you know what? I might as well just drop back a wobbler and troll while I'm doing this because I'm going slow anyways, you know? And then uh, we started catching fish. So we're at two fish so far. Let's hopefully catch a bunch, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Again, I've never really troll. I've tried it a few times. But just made a huge mess so i never tried again but today with one rod just holding it like this it seems to be working a lot better no tangles no getting my lures stuck no breaking off lures so it's going good so far yeah the wind definitely changed directions on this it's now going this way which is making the waves come at me it was going that way which is good because that is the way back to the truck and the boat ramp so now we're going to be against the waves, which is not going to be fun. At least we're trolling, going slow. It's not too bad, but definitely sucks going against the waves. Look how bad this boat is shaking. We are going to put the rod up and actually get across the lake safely. I put my life jacket on and we're going to head to the, the boat ramp and go troll that side of the lake and hopefully that side of the lake is not as choppy as this. Cause this is not good. Not good at all. And I'm assuming the longer I'm out here, the worse it's gonna get, so. Thought we had one, must have been bottom. But we made it to the other side of the lake and it is a lot calmer over here. Dang it, I thought we had one for sure. Probably hit a tree or something. All right, we're on baby. We gotta cross the entire thing to finally catch one. What do we got? Smalley. We're just catching everything on this wobbler, man. Let's uh, anchor down real quick before we hit the wall. All right, there it is. Small mouth on the wobbler. Three species so far. Crappie, white bass, and now a small mouth bass. This guy's little though, man. But, hey, it's a fish. See a girl. She gone. She took off. All right, so I just went to the house, filleted up the fish, dropped off the boat, and I also picked up some shrimp from the freezer that is currently on the dashboard. Fine. Hopefully this bag does not leak because that's gonna get down in the vents and that will not smell too good in a few weeks. But I'm at the grocery store. I'm gonna grab a few other ingredients here and then we're gonna head back to the lake I actually want to fish another spot before we start cooking and then we can start cooking but I am making aluminum pouches with like a bunch of Cajun seasoning and fish, shrimp, sausage, corn on the cob. It's going to be amazing. I've, I've done this a few times at the house but I've never done it in the truck camper so that is what we're doing today. So let's go inside this store, grab a few other ingredients and then head out to the lake. This place sells whole catfish and 
breaded catfish nuggets. Four dollars. We should try these sometime. In the video, we're gonna try these breaded nuggets. Well, this is the spot I wanted to fish, but as you can see, water is low. You can see everything in here, there's no fish. Let's try this other side over here. Speaking of low water, when I was a kid, I have a very vivid memory of playing on this concrete right here, and that's where the water was. When I was a kid, that's where the water was, and this is where it's at now. Way, way back over there. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. A few years ago, this entire half of the lake was gone. It slowly made a comeback, but it's still pretty low. I've actually never drove over here, so I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh, shit, Jesus. Hell yeah. Got some trees in the water. A little bit deeper water, that's good. There's a freaking grill right here. What? Community grill? Can't have open fires here. There's a fire ban right now, but that's cool, I guess. All right, here is our spot. We're gonna let the shrimp thaw out right there on that rock, and we're gonna throw a few casts. Is there fish here? I have no idea. But we got a rocky point with some trees. If it's deep, there might be fish. We came over here and kayaked, and I remember being inside these trees. I pulled out a spinnerbait from these trees right here. This was all in the water. Ah, oh, so sad. Can't get any closer, this is all soft. I mean, it looks somewhat deep. Maybe a few feet at least. That's all we need. Might actually be worth walking around and fishing that point over there in the deeper water. I may do that after we cook. Well, here's the deal. I need to get some water boiling. So, while that's still thawing out, we're gonna go ahead and start boiling the water because it might take a while on this camping stove. Not really sure. Never boiled water yet on it, so. Let's go ahead and get that going. I'm gonna start cooking, but I'm also gonna keep an eye on this guy and see if he catches any fish. All right, so I got some crawfish, shrimp, and crab boiled. This is like the most amazing seasoning ever. I wish we had crawfish. That would be absolutely amazing if we did, but we don't. I could probably catch a few here, but they're pretty scarce around here. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the seasoning in now. Let that kind of flavor the water. And then I may pour some more in a little bit. Alright, so here are all our ingredients that we're going to be cooking up today. We got some shrimp. We got the crappie and the sand bass that we just caught earlier. Corn on the cob and sausage. This is jalapeno and cheese sausage. Going to be amazing. Alright. We got this water slowly starting to boil. I poured quite a bit of seasoning in there. It's probably good. That's going to be pretty spicy. Let's go ahead and stir it up with our knife. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought once I stirred it. Oh, it's going to be so good though. It already smells amazing. If you guys never had a crawfish boil with this seasoning here, you guys are missing out. I promise you. First off, we need to detail these shrimp. The shrimp can, can go ahead and go inside the pot here. Ah, it's hot. Let's go ahead and cut up the sausage. Mm-mm-mm. Look at all that cheese. 
and jalapenos. It's gonna be so freaking good, dude. Go ahead and drop that into the seasoning. And then we're just gonna cut up these little pieces of corn, kind of like this, about that size, and go ahead and drop that in as well. So if you've had crawfish in that seasoning, you know the corn that they cook in the seasoning as well, absolutely amazing. It is my absolute favorite. I can't even eat corn on a cob by itself anymore without using this seasoning. It's too bland. And we are officially full. So we got corn on the cob, sausage, and shrimp just soaking up all this amazing seasoning. We're gonna let that boil and then let the corn on the cob cook for a bit. We'll probably lose all the cheese from the sausage in the water, but oh well. All right, so there's that cooking. Yeah, freaking buddy. Almost forgot I was at the lake, dude. I was so into the cooking. She's starting to boil, baby. You gotta be careful though, there's a lot of water in there. We filled her to the top. Oh, she's spilling over. Let's turn her down a bit. We were on max there. That was about the five. You don't wanna see it at a 10. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and call this cooked. It is hot and overflowing. So that is part one of this meal. Now we need to go ahead and set up part two for cooking the fish. All right, part two of this meal. We need aluminum foil and the fish. Let's drop the fish down right here. So there's the fish. And once again, this is one crappie and one sand bass. Slap your mama and then Old Bay. Can't go wrong with those two. This is probably gonna be real spicy, but I wanna try to take a pinch of this crawfish boil seasoning and sprinkle it on the fish. I don't know how it's gonna be, but the seasoning is pretty good. And we're also gonna be throwing all the other ingredients on top of this, so it kinda, we'll get the flavoring from all this in there as well. All right, we got it seasoned. Let's go ahead and add some butter to this pouch. Surprise, it's not all melted in this 100 degree weather. That way there's butter underneath all the fish. And then we're gonna add some more butter on top. I'm only seasoning one side because we already put quite a bit of seasoning on there. This whole meal is gonna be pretty seasoned just from the crawfish boil. I'm putting quite a bit of butter so it all melts and kind of makes a liquid at the bottom of the pouch and cooks the fish. Everything else is already cooked, so we need this fish to cook. All right, next up, now we just need to grab all this and throw this on top of the fish. Cross-contamination. It really is now, huh? But this is what people do, man. We need to get some shrimp. All the shrimp is down at the bottom. I'm hoping all this sat in the seasoning long enough to soak it in, make it all nice and spicy. Ow, it's hot. I was gonna try a piece, but it's freaking hot. I mean, I see a lot of the seasoning on the corn, so we should be all right. We should close up this pouch. Let's move this over. And then I'm actually kind of worried about this busting over the stove. So I got another piece of aluminum foil I'm gonna try and just kind of place on here to kind of help hold it. I hope this doesn't melt. <laughs> I mean, people literally put aluminum foil on their stoves, so I'm just gonna run that. Oh, it's already hot. Let's go ahead and drop. Oh, that pouch is hot too. Ah. Go ahead and just drop that pouch right there on the stove top. 
and we're gonna let that fish cook again guys i have never tried this on the stove top like this i always just cook it in the oven so we'll see what happens we're smoking over here why are we smoking yep we're melting the aluminum foil idiotic that's not gonna work shit okay at least we did this one and it didn't melt the, the whole pouch here this may have been a fail guys um i could throw it all back in here let the fish boil it's not a bad idea that may be what we have to do we can't eat the fish raw that's for sure i guess you could some people do but all right <laughs> well this whole cool little aluminum foil thing here was a fail on the stovetop we're gonna throw all this back into the pan and ow, freaking hot ow and then we'll just boil the fish that way i just want to make sure it's all cooked all right we're just gonna be boiling the fish that's what we're doing well guys i tried to get all fancy with the aluminum pouch but it melted which i thought it would but uh i didn't think it would melt that quick but of course aluminum has a little melting point so i'm not surprised but hey at least i tried give this video a like for me at least trying we'll just have to boil it all together inside this yummy seasoning which i'm okay with too never tried fish in this crawfish bowl seasoning so we may try this again i'm thinking maybe if i have like a rack above the stove rack so the pouch is higher up over the flames and not touching the flames i think that will be a whole lot better and actually might work I know people do this over campfires. It's just the rack is too low. So we'll definitely try this again, but uh, with a higher rack. Fish is starting to fall apart. She's cooking. The wind is still stupid. Update on the guy fishing over here. He just left, didn't catch anything either. Not a good sign. While this heats back up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a few more casts. I just grabbed my swim jig rod out of the boat before I came here, so this is the only rod I got. I do have more lures though, in my back of the truck, so. Alright, this bad boy is done. I'm really excited to see how this fish is going to taste in this boil. We already know the corn is going to be amazing. The fish is falling apart, it's cooked fully. My mouth is about to be on fire though, I can already tell you that. Everything is going to be super spicy because of the seasoning. And honestly, I cannot freaking wait. Let's try a piece of sausage. Perfect. Definitely spicy, but perfect. As that cools down, I'm gonna go ahead and put all this up. Jesus Christ, dude. God, that window's terrible. I had my food sitting right here. I had to run back and move it over here so no dirt got in it. Man. All right, dudes, let's go ahead and start eating. We got corn, shrimp, sausage, and crappie and sand bass. All right, so here is our bowl of food. If only we had crawfish, man. If we had crawfish, it would be a game changer right now, but we don't. I did catch a pretty big crawfish out here one time. We were fishing on the docks at night and I saw one by the boat ramp. I just picked it up and it was huge. So there's definitely crawfish out here or at least one that I've seen my entire life. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll actually come out here and try to catch some crawfish, that would be awesome. But that definitely would have made this meal. But let's go ahead and try a piece of shrimp first. Here's a shrimp. Uh, spicy, amazing. Here is some sausage, which I've already tried pretty good too. What are y'all doing? Sorry guys, y'all just fell. So here is some of the fish. As you can see, it just fell apart. It's good, but the boil kind of outweighs the fish flavor. So definitely don't boil your fish in crawfish boil because you won't taste the fish. Now my favorite, the corn. Spicy but good well guys that's it 
I'm gonna continue to eat this, but fishing sucked today. We kind of failed on that part. We did catch some fish trolling, so that kind of saved the day. Gave us this meal, and this meal kind of was a failure as well. But uh, just because the aluminum melted. Oh, it's so hot, spicy. But this still came out amazing. So we turned two fails into a awesome positive. It's so spicy, but it's so freaking good. White bass. The white bass is a little thicker so you can actually taste the fish with the white bass. I may have put just a little bit too much seasoning because it is hot, but too dang good not to eat. Well guys, turned two negatives into a positive. My mouth is still on fire, but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.